I'd like to give a quick overview of the challenges uh, of uh, machine learning, uh, of uh, financial data science. Um, some of the challenges are simply that the company names change over time and uh, their tickets change over time. Uh, it is, uh, you know, that's why the, uh, people have found, uh, have created unique identifiers for a company. However, uh, different uh, data vendors use different unique identifiers. So it is oftentimes very difficult to merge different databases. Okay, that's the main, one of the main challenges simply to, to identify what company we're talking about when we're trying to uh, create, uh, to, to back test a uh, trading strategy. That turns out to be a, a quite a, quite a bit of a hassle. Uh, and then of course there's dividend and split adjustment where, um, today's price, um, you, you know, simply to create a price series, uh, is, uh, not as trivial as it, uh, sounds at first, uh, at first brush. Uh, sometimes you want a unadjusted price series and sometimes you want an adjusted price series depending on the particular circumstances. Uh, the third problem is survivorship bias, in particular with regard to stock database. Uh, you know, often, uh, oftentimes, uh, if you back test a strategy on today's uh, data, uh, it is, uh, actually non, non, not representative of what you would see in the live trading at the time. Uh, in a historical moment. And, and that is not just a problem of, um, price data. It, the survivorship bias pervades many, uh, database that, uh, whether in stock or futures, uh, or, uh, even, um, forex. Um, but mainly it is a problem in stock database. And, and it is very hard to find a database that doesn't have survivorship bias, uh, you know, in price as well as in, uh, other uh, aspects of the company. And then, um, there are uh, more insidious than survivorship bias. There is a look ahead bias. You might think that look ahead bias only exists in uh, trading strategies, but what we find is that look ahead bias exists in data. Um, you, you know, even before you create any trading strategy, uh, data, uh, you know, you, you have to deal with uh, already. You have to get rid of that look, inherent look ahead bias there. And then there are, uh, when we go beyond the typical, um, uh, data such as price, uh, and uh, even fundamental data, and you get into alternative data, you will uh, have an even bigger problem. And the bigger problem is that uh, you have no idea whether the data is correct. And you, in, indeed, we, what we have found in some of the alternative data in the past is that there are structural breaks. So it's clearly something is not right. Uh, you pay a lot of money for this data, and you will be, you will observe after much digging, much digging, that there are just completely unusable. It is very common. You pay tens, tens of thousands of dollars for an alternative database only to find that it is completely useless. It's very common. And then finally, um, you will find that, uh, uh, you know, in, in a lot of alternative data, there are categorical features. Uh, and it is, uh, quite challenging, uh, when you're dealing with categorical features, how to integrate it into a machine learning program. It's not trivial because it, you know, it is not a simple matter of, oh, I have a role and there's a categorical feature for that role. No, uh, oftentimes you have to aggregate, uh, several roles, for example, over a period of time. It is very common, for example, uh, to, uh, for, for trading strategy to use moving average. Well, how do you create a moving average of categorical feature? That's uh, something that we have to think about. So, uh, Roger, I have found this quote. Um, from uh, IBM executive. Uh, and the quote is that, um, data challenges are halting AI projects. And 80% of the time, uh, uh, of working with AI projects, uh, is spent on data science. So, um, we are, you know, we have allocated uh, one third of our cost to data science, uh, but actually, uh, if you are uh, actually engaging in a uh, financial um, uh, uh, trading project, uh, you would be spending 80% of your time uh, on dealing with data rather than on trading strategy.